The Royal Enfield Bullet 350 is no longer the company's best selling bike. It's not even the company's second best selling bike. But you could argue that this is Royal Enfield's most important motorcycle. At today's launch of this new Gen 350, Sid Lal said that the Bullet 350 is our North Star. We may go in various directions with exciting new genres of motorcycling, but this bike keeps us honest. Well, the Bullet 350 is now into its 90th odd year. It's less than 10 years away from hitting 100 and Royal Enfield has to renew it. It's the last motorcycle on the old UC platform, but this bike is now J-Series. Today, we're going to give you a walk around and tell you what's new. Now, to begin with, everything is new. There's not a single part carried over from the old UCE Bullet, although the bike does look very similar. However, if you were to compare it to the new gen classic 350, it's very similar. So today we're going to walk around and tell you what's different to the Bullet and what's different to the new Classic. When it comes to the old Bullet, of course, you get the new J-Series engine. This motor makes a little over 20 horsepower and about 27 newton meters of torque. Those numbers are exactly the same as the Classic 350 and it's in the same state of tune as the Classic 350 as well. That's interesting because Royal Enfield does different tunes for the different J-Series bikes. The Meteor feels a little different to the Classic. The Hunter feels very different to those two. This and the Classic will feel very similar to ride. The same goes for the chassis. It is essentially the same chassis as the Classic 350. It's this new double cradle frame. It's a nice frame. We spent a lot of time with the Classic. Feels like a good old bullet, but it's stable and it gives you a lot of good feedback. Wheel sizes are also the same. The brake sizes are the same. In that sense, technically, this is a very similar bike to the new Classic 350. With that out of the way, let's talk about the differences. So, the Bullet now comes in three variants with five colors. The three variants are essentially a base variant that gets a drum brake at the back and single channel ABS. There's a mid variant with a couple of colors and this is the new top variant, which is the new black gold color scheme. It is different for a Bullet. There's a lot of matte theme on this motorcycle. You would expect to see chrome on a Bullet, but there's no chrome on the fender. There's no chrome on the engine and there's no chrome on the exhaust. And I was thinking if Royal Enfield has gone this far with the matte theme, why not just give it alloy wheels as well? But if you want alloys, those are optional extras under the MIY program. Speaking of optional extras, this bike does not get the triple navigation display as standard, but it is available as an MIY option. Since we're here, this is what the display looks like. It's that iconic Royal Enfield shape, very similar to the classic. And the switch gear is also very similar to the classic. Right. You want to know what this sounds like, so let's give it a go. All right? Again, it's the same stereo tune as the classic, so no surprises. It sounds very similar as well. These modern motorcycles have to meet international emission norms, international sound norms. This bike will be sold in Europe, and that's why it can't be too loud. Anyway, let's talk about the differences now from this to the new gen classic 350. The fuel tank is the same. What's different are these rectangular boxes on the side. Now on the old bikes, this used to be the toolbox, the battery box was on the other side. Today, they're not really very functional, but they are now rectangular, whereas they're oval on the Classic. These are the same. They're uh, openable boxes on both sides. The badges on the Bullet are different. Uh, Royal Enfield says they've taken inspiration from the old Bullets of the 1950s to come up with this design. It looks metal, but it's actually ABS plastic. That's a 3D badge. That's also a 3D badge and you, will get, you won't get these badges if you go for the base variant. Moving almost slightly further to the back, the Bullet gets that standard one-piece seat. This is a slightly thicker seat, so it may feel a little bit taller than the Classic, although the numbers on paper are the same. And then over here at the back, we have a different shape to the rear fender. The Classic is completely in one curvature. This has a more squared off look. The housing for the tail lamp is also different, but the tail lamp itself is the same. As for the headlight, it is a halogen unit. Now, the final difference on the Bullet is how it'll feel when you sit on it to ride. The riding position in terms of the ergonomics for the foot pegs are pretty much the same, but the handlebar is designed to be even more upright, even more commanding, and even more Bullet. Effectively, as far as I can tell, those are the range of changes on the new Bullet 350. Bookings have already opened, deliveries will start from the 3rd of September and prices start at 1.75 lakh X showroom, which makes this thing a little more expensive than the Hunter than we would have imagined. With the new competition coming Royal Enfield's way, maybe we thought that this bike would be really aggressively priced. But I think Royal Enfield is saying, we're confident about our products and we don't need to undercut the prices. So, 1.75 lakhs for the base variant, 
about 1.9 lakhs of the mid-spec variant and this one is 2.15 lakhs. The top version, the main difference is the paint scheme. It's a dual tone paint scheme that takes more effort to create. That is the new Royal Enfield Bullet 350. We will be riding it soon, so look out for our review.